thoughts after a performance like that in front of the hometown crowd? Uh, it, was, it was cool. Uh, got a little slow start, but I'm uh, glad I got picked it up. That guy was tough. He was he was in my face the whole time, and he went back down. And uh, I just knew he was going for the takedown. So I was like, fuck, I wanted to open up. But there's only so much I could do, and somebody's just, just trying to hold on to you. Were you surprised he didn't kind of approach with a more wrestling heavy game plan? I think some of us back here were saying, well, he's he's fighting in the Henry's game right now. Were you surprised at that? Not really, because when he did take me down, he fucking couldn't do shit. You know, he like, that was his best effort right off the bat. Nothing happened. I was just ch just chilling, fighting his hands. There was an openings for him besides the hold on for dear life. So I think, you know, that he didn't want to waste too much energy or something. And I see a couple marks on your face and stuff like that, but were you hurt at all in there from anything he did? No, no, no. It's a pretty chill fight. Uh, it seems like every time you connected with a punch, the crowd would just get electric in there. Could you hear that <laughs> during the fight? Yeah, that was really cool. I have a bunch of homies here and family. So I'm originally from Los Angeles, yeah. and uh, so that's not too far away, but I've been, I've been living out here for the past six years. So Phoenix pretty much adopted me, and I got a lot of new friends here. You know, at the, some of the gyms that I've been around through the valley, and so it's it pretty. We got a lot of people out there. And then we've spoken in the past, and you don't really seem like a guy that really cares who he fights next. You just want to fight. Is there a timetable for when you want to fight again? Like, are you hoping to fight again by the end of the year, or yeah, just maybe early next yeah, year? Yeah, I like to fight people. So whenever that, whenever that happens, but I really just want to get back in the gym with my teammates. You know, coming off a loss, a big opportunity, a big loss, and. Uh, you know, they were kind of there for me to, you know, drag me out of the dumps and make sure to keep my head on right and, you know, uh, just keep pushing forward for them. So I, I really just want to get back in the gym and see what I could give back for them, see if I could be a hand for them. Hey, Henry, congrats on the win. Um, so the thing that I picked up technique-wise was it seemed like a straight right and a left hook was the opening that he just couldn't close. Did you notice that, or were you just saying, okay, I see it, and I'm going to go hit it, or what, what was – what were you picking up? Because the third round, you seemed to find an opening that wasn't there in the first two. Yeah, I think I think we're both just really kind of filling each other out with not much. Like, I I was just like, this guy's going to try to fucking take me down. I can't be too sloppy and crazy. And he was like, I don't really want to get hit with a big shot, and I just want to take him down. And by the third round, I was just like, dude, fuck this. I feel like it was such a boring fight. And I was like, dude, I got I to gotta, I gotta get these motherfuckers up on their feet in the stands. So I was just trying to open it up more. And uh, it happened a little later than I'd like to, but I heard some screams out there, so I, I did my job a little bit. So it's cool. You've been a staple of this division for quite some time in Bellator. How important did you feel like this win was coming off of the loss and the couple that were one fight before that? Fuck, dude. It feels like, it feels like I'm always fighting off a loss. Like, these fights are important, dude. <laughs> like, dude, some, some of these guys from Bellator even tell me, like, hey, this fight's important. You got to get this one. And I'm like, fuck, all right, dude. Like, <laughs> I'm going to try hard anyways, but all right, thanks for the fucking extra little fucking kick. But yeah, they're all, all these fist fights are pr a pretty big deal. So, but yeah, I don't get caught up in, I don't get caught up in the significance, significance of them. And safe to save featherweight's going to be the, the road for you here on out? Yeah, yeah, actually, dude, I, so I lied. I never made, I never made bad weight. And I was like, yeah, I've made bandway before. Let me go down there and fuck somebody up. And they were like, oh, okay. But I've never even made bandway. Yeah, I was fucking retarded. I was like, I got this. And so I, I did it. And uh, I felt great, you know, but, you know, shit happens. I had a great camp and everything, but, you know, the fight didn't work out. And here we are. What do you think the difference, like, feeling-wise, being in there at featherweight versus bandway, is it just your strength or something? Or? I don't know. Dude, I, I honestly felt good, but... You know, this, this, this game, once that bell rings, dude, there's no remorse. And everything goes out the window. Fucking good camp. Doesn't matter how you feel. Oh, you had a good warm up backstage? No, nah, that doesn't fucking matter. And, uh, and yeah, it was one of those things. So I, I, don't, I don't know. All right, we'll take one or two more here. Kobe? Henry, great fight. Technically perfect, really. Um, I know you said you want to kind of get the crowd into it in the final round, but... You looked pretty solid defensively the whole way through and didn't really give him an opening to take you down. Your takedown defense was excellent. Was that something you worked on in camp? Yeah, so I've been, uh, ever since I moved out here to uh, Arizona about six years ago, uh, my old buddies from another gym really helped me out 
with uh, my wrestling. And now I've been, for the last couple years, I've been at Fight Ready with uh, Angel Cejudo. And that guy, his brother, his brother Henry's a pretty good wrestler. <laughs> that guy's fucking, he's a, he's a great coach, dude. That guy's just, he's just the man, dude. I really, really like Angel Cejudo. He's just, he's just a high quality person and coach. His wife's cool too, and his kids are awesome. And I just really want to impress that guy. I'm always telling him I'm, I'm a fucking wrestler now. And uh, yeah. He's, he's nice. Nice. Thanks.